What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Roster Bubble Series video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when the live stream pops your drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Also, share this out during this time of the NFL offseason before training camp begins. Uh, a lot of content creators don't get views, or at least as much as they should, because of the dead time and the less interaction. So, if you share it out to a couple NFL people, they'll tell some of their friends, and it's it just creates a... Uh, a bigger following for any channel but of course you know we're talking about my channel here so appreciate you guys tuning in every video um thank you for doing the good stuff as always five star rating on apple podcasts for twinville and big blue in the bronx are much appreciated dead red podcast returns at 9 30 p.m eastern standard time tonight uh it is mostly focused on baseball but i guess we'll mix some nba in there because it's you know free agency so join me in socks 9 30 p.m eastern standard time so alex bachman is our uh, candidate slash profile for the roster bubble series at least today's episode uh, in the roster bubble series I take a player that is on the roster bubble talk about their background then competition how they can win a spot on the roster how they can lose and then prediction at the end so Alex Bachman uh, has been mostly a giant in his career um, out of 2009 out of Wake Forest in 2019 is an undrafted free agent he signed with the Rams, then he got cut at the end of the preseason due to injury, so he had an injury settlement with them. Then signed with the Giants, particularly the practice squad on November 12th, then at the end of the year signed a futures contract, was waived during the final roster cuts uh, in 2020, obviously no preseason, it was just training camp battles and scrimmages. Then signed to the practice squad the next day, released, re-signed. Then he was elevated to the active roster because the protections and stuff, you could do that at that time. You could still do it now. Uh, he was elevated to the active roster on October the 22nd. Made his NFL debut on special teams against the Philadelphia Eagles, the game we lost on Thursday Night Football. Then he was uh, sent back to the practice squad the next day. With that being said, he signed a re uh, reserve future contract at the end of the season. Placed on injured reserve and released at the end of the 2021 preseason. Then re-signed to the practice squad. Then activated as a COVID replacement for a few games. And then signed a futures contract once again with the Giants. And he remains uh, a Giant to this day. So he's really not gotten too much in the NFL world other than special team snaps. And he's only played a total of four games. And all are with the New York Giants, of course. Uh, some stats to put out there. He played one game, once again, mostly on special teams with the New York Giants. And that was in one game, you know, on the Thursday night football game against the Eagles. Then 2021, he played three games, once against Dallas. I remember one against Washington towards the end of the season. I think the other one may have been against Philly as well, but I'm not too sure about that. Uh, so three games, one punt return for 16 yards and four kick returns for 94 yards. Uh, longest was a 27-yard return, so I guess he does offer some special teams value. And then when you look at the rushing and receiving statistics, one rush for negative three yards, that happened to be an end around. Just a little flip to Bachman uh, from Jake Fromm in Week 18. Yeah, it was Week 18 against the Washington football team. It was fourth down and one, and then they made it, you know, first down because it was a turnover on downs, and it was a bad play call. But they were desperate at that point, and we all know what happened after the game. And, you know, you know, obviously Joe Judge and everyone was fired, whatever. Competition. Keelan Doss, wide receiver from the Raiders. C.J. Board, special teamer, also 5'6", wide receiver guy, um, has been with the Giants the last two years. Austin Prohl, he's been around the league a lot. We did a video on him, I believe, yesterday. Robert Foster, wide receiver from the Bills, the Washington football team, a couple of the teams. Richie James Jr., former wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers. Travis Tavoynin, uh, don't know much about him. I think he's an undrafted free agent from last year. David Sills, we all know his name. He was a former Bill himself. Uh, I said the other day that he was out of Wake Forest. That's not true. He's actually out of West Virginia, but has been with the Giants the last three years. And Colin Johnson, who was claimed off waivers, Last season, uh, at the end of the preseason, he was a draft pick of the Jaguars out of Texas Tech, and then um, 
I think it was Texas Tech. Texas Tech or Texas? I believe it was Texas with the Longhorns. But anyway, he was. Uh, he got a couple of game reps with the New York Giants. So how can Alex Bachman win a spot? Show some skill on fourth down and avoid dropping passes with the twos and threes. It's kind of the same formula if you think about it with Austin Prohl. Uh, this guy's gotten more NFL experience than Prohl has. Prohl has not played a game. Bachman obviously had you know a college career. If we could go over those statistics uh, real quickly, so in his first year Wake Forest, he had one reception for eight yards. Then his second year, he had 23 catches, 248 yards, one touchdown in 11 games. Then in his third season, 21 receptions, 365 yards, three touchdowns, nine games. Then his final season, 37 receptions, 541 yards, six touchdowns, and uh, you know played in 11 games. So there's that, but. It's just keeping it simple with Alex Bachman. Do good on special teams. If you're offered the opportunity to kick return and punt return, do it well. You know, uh, The Giants need return guys, and there's a lot there you could pick out of. Uh, Kadarius Toney could be one, even though I'm a little scared to use him as a returner because of injuries. Richie James is one. C.J. Board is one. Uh, I think definitely Alex Bachman can go into that mix of guys that could be on special teams. So show some skill on fourth down, show some skill in the return game, and avoid dropping passes with the twos and threes. There were a couple of times that he did drop passes in camp and in the preseason. I remember, I think it was against the Patriots he dropped one. That was big, or it was either against the Jets. But Bachman did get a touchdown uh, thrown from Mike Glennon against the Pats last year in the preseason. Unfortunately, they did lose that game. Uh, how can he lose? Has a quiet camp, doesn't stand out from other wide receivers, doesn't really show you know some stuff on special teams, doesn't show any ability in the return game, and is just a camp body. He, there is a chance he does get re of the practice squad. For some reason, there's been this thing the last three years where he stayed with the Giants, and uh, the regime has just liked him. Um, will Brian Dable and Joe Shane have the same attraction to him? I don't think so, but you know we'll see what happens. My prediction is that he gets released uh i don't think he offers anything special obviously you got your first four wide receivers filled out you got shep you got wandale you got tony you got galladay slayton may or may not be on the bubble but if he does make the roster once again you need a guy on special teams and it's going to be between board in my opinion richie james robert foster maybe uh colin johnson Bachman, but I don't think Bachman's going to make it. I think he's just a camp body. Maybe he comes back on the practice squad. It's definitely a possibility knowing that it has been the uh, the microcosm of his career. So Bachman, unfortunately, does not make the roster. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops to your jobs. Appreciate you all coming back. Peace out. See you later. Stay cool.